Hi, I'm Jeremy, and I'm your host of Tell Me Wine TV, where we try to answer your questions about wine right here on the internet. And today we're going to talk a little bit about dessert wines. And, um, and people know uh, certain dessert wines fairly well. Port, obviously, uh, very popular from Portugal. Uh, there are other examples of port made throughout the world. Um, a dark, uh, sometimes unctuous, sweet wine uh, that, that's very popular um, uh, throughout the world. Sautern, another example of sweet wine that, that people know very well. Tokai from Hungary, uh, another very expensive wine as well. Uh, but today I wanted to talk about sweet wines from some other regions and, uh, and, and wines that should be looked at and, and considered and tried if you can. Um, so the first wine is a Bonzo. How's my French? Bonzo. Thank you. Uh, from Domaine uh, de, uh, forgive my French, Domaine de Mehui. 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 Domaine de Mehui. It's made from 100% Chenin Blanc. Um, it's a. Uh, it's from the Loire Valley, and uh, this wine uh, is affected by the botrytis uh, fungus, uh, which helps concentrate the Chenin Blanc grape uh, or any grape that's affected by botrytis. Um, wait, wait. And uh, Chenin can can be all over the map. It can be uh, typically has a little bit of a sweet component. Uh, but Vouvray can go from dry, off dry, to very sweet. And, and this, of course, is an example of sweet wine. So the color is beautiful, uh, golden hue, uh, medium yellow. Um, just very pretty. Uh, clear, the, the, the wine is very clean looking. It has a little funkiness to the nose. Perhaps that's the botrytis coming through, which is, of course, a, a fungus, a mold. It's a little medicinal. Delicious. Uh, very, very silky. Uh, no acidity represented there at all, which, of course, I think you, you find acidity in Chenin Blanc. It's delicious. It's um, it's sweet, but it's not sugary. Um, it's a very, very interesting. It's got a little. I'm getting a little bitterness on the backside. Kind of a mature lime, kind of a thing going on. But a, a delicious wine, nonetheless, and I think this is about thirty dollars. So that's relatively cheap, as sweet wines go. Uh, the other wine is from Canada. Uh, it's a Riesling from Jackson Triggs. It's a ice wine, and we've talked about ice wine in another show. And ice wine is literally, you know, grapes on the vine that have frozen. And here, take this. Thank you. this episode will air. Okay. Ice wine. Um, I'm not sure who that child was. But uh, ice wine is grapes that have been, uh, remained on the vine, have frozen on the vine by nature. In this case, this Jackson Triggs was uh, the Grapes naturally froze on December 7th, and where the average temperature was minus 11 degrees Celsius. So that's pretty darn cold. And they harvest these Riesling grapes. Ice wine can be made from any grape. And though, uh, well, they're actually the same age, too. So that's nice. They're both 2005 vintage. The ice wine is far darker, far darker, more like a, a golden apricot 
versus this kind of a lemony, uh, g a yellowish curve. It is far darker, almost like a cognac when you compare them side by side. And again, this is Riesling. I'm expecting acidity uh, just because it is Riesling. It's a creamy nose, very honeyed, mature orange. Thank you. Now it's really ice wine because there's ice in it. And it's delicious. Again, forgive me for this uh, interruption, this technical issue we're having here. But but ice wine and uh, the wines of the Loire Valley, I think two examples of uh, wine that are not Sauternes, Port, or Tokai that, that you should look at. I think they provide value. Uh, this is just delicious. Again, not cheap, but not absurdly expensive like other sweet wines can be, other dessert wines. So go out, ask your retailer uh, to, to give you some, some off the beaten path examples of sweet wines, dessert wines, and see what he comes up with and give it a shot. Uh, I think you'll enjoy what you discover. So thanks for sending in your questions in and keep sending them in too. Tell me wine TV.